What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're bringing you guys a Kiram Snow Team for Regulation G. So guys, Kiram was actually usable in ranked battles in previous generations such as Sword and Shield, and this Pokemon was phenomenal. But now, in Scarlet and Violet, Hail changes to Snow, and Snow gives Ice-type Pokemon a huge buff in this generation. So, I think Kiram's gonna be 10 times better. We're looking to showcase him today, hopefully we get to showcase the power of this Pokemon. But let's talk about Kiram for a second. It's got tier Turbo Blaze as its ability, alongside with the Life Orb as item, making it do a ridiculous amount of damage. Furthermore, it's got the Ice Tarot type with Blizzard, Freeze Dry, Earth Power, and Protect. To pair up with Kiram, we got Alola Ninetales, one of the best snow setters in the game, with Snow Warning as its ability. It's got Cobra Cloak as its item, then it's rocking Aurora Bell, Moonblast, Helping Hand, and on top of that, Snow Skate to keep snow on the field. So say if they change it, we can just set it again with a move. Other Pokemon on today's team features Tornadus. Tornadus is going to be another great support Pokemon for this team, Rock and Tailwind and Snowscape, just like that Ninetales. So, again, if they change up weather, we can go into Tornadus, pop Snowscape with Prankster, it will go first turn, and we can get the snow back on the field. Other three Pokemon on today's team is going to feature Incineroar, Ogre Pun, and Goldigo. Incineroar does its own thing. I don't really need, even need to talk about that Pokemon anymore. And then we got Ogre Pond for physical attacking and Goldigo for special attacking. Guys, you want to rent this team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. Without further ado, let's hop into our first match showcasing this Kiram Snow Team. Now, before we get started with our first match, I want to give a huge shout out to the team creator, Giordi. Thank you so much for making this team. I will be linking this page down in the description below. So if you guys want to check out this team more in depth in the Pokéspace, head over to his channel. But we're going up against a Sun Team here in match number one looking a little scary i'm not going to sit here and lie it is looking a little scary considering they have karaidon and on top of that they got whimsicott whimsicott can set the sun with sunny day again it's looking scary but from here we could go nine tails as our lead and we could go in with kiram because what i think they're possibly going to do is go into like pranks or whimsicott to set the sun again and i think this is just a safe play to go into because if they go pranks or whimsicott and they set sunny day then Ninetales can just simply pop a Snowscape, and then we can just start throwing Blizzards left and right. Because this Pokemon's rather fast. I like it. I don't mind it. So that is exactly what I'm going to do here. These two coming out here for the lead. In the back end, we are going to bring Incineroar. Do we want Incineroar? Maybe. Maybe. We'll think about it. We'll think about it. We're going to go Ogre Pond here. I do like Ogre Pond, considering we're going to need a way to take out on that Milotic. And then last but not least, I think we are going to end up going Incineroar. They have a few physical attackers. We do have to watch out for that competitive Milo tick. That could be a little bit of a problem boost and I think special attack. But I think we should be fine here. We just got to win the weather war. Have Kieran pop off here. And kind of get after the match that way. But that's what's so good about having Snowscape on Alora Ninetales. Is because say they lead a Pokemon that just changes weather. We can change it up without having to hard swap out. So it saves us a whole turn. Which is awesome. Which is awesome. While Kieran can just stay on the field. Doing some big time damage. We love it. We love it. Let's see who they end up leading here. It could be Karidon. It could be Karidon. I guess we'll find out. It could be Karidon Wimscott. That is definitely an option. That is definitely an option. So let's see. It is going to, to be Milotic and Charizard. So I think there is a hot chance of them swapping here. Into, uh... I think there is a hot chance of them swapping into, uh... What is that Pokemon called? I can't even think of it. Uh, Karidon. So I think I'm just going to set Snow and play it safe and then just go into a Blizzard. Do I Terra Blizzard? I think I'm going to Terra Blizzard. I think this is safe for me to do. Big time Terra Boost Blizzard. So that's going to be our play turn one here. Set the Snow again because I think they're going to swap. And if not, we're going to be able to get off a big time Terra Blizzard. Possibly KO and Charizard. Because this could do some big time damage into this art. It's neutral considering it's part flying. We like it. We like it a lot. Let's see what they end up doing here. They're going to withdraw the Charizard. Who are you going into here? You got cooking. It's going to be Karidon. So we make the right call. They do swap into Karidon. Blizzard can still... It actually should be super effective on that thing. Dragon and... It's Dragon and Fire, right? Or no, it's Dragon and Fighting. Yeah, so this should still be super effective. So we might just be able to dump on Karidon. And then we have Freeze Dry later in the match, which is big. And then if they don't have Whimscott, we'll have Weather for the rest of the game. That's massive. So we're going to Rasselize Kiram here first match. We're going to pop the Snowscape, predicting him swapping out, which was perfect for us. And the Snow is back on the field. 
We love the snowy weather. Kiram's gonna go next. Blizzard's hitting 100% of the time in the snow. And we're doing some big time damage. We say bye bye to Crydon. And that damage in the Milo tick is actually absurd. Oh, it was a crit. Okay, that makes sense. I was gonna say, if we're doing that much damage without a crit, it's, this thing's just broken. This thing is just broken. I'm gonna lose a little bit of HP. He's gonna go for an ice cream. He's gonna slow us down just a tad bit, just a little bit. And I wonder if they have Whimscott. I do wonder if they have Whimscott. This thing's gonna have Marble Scale. Okay. It's gonna boost his defense, I believe. I believe that's what Marble Scale does. It boosts your defense. So they're gonna bring back out Charizard, which I don't mind because I'm gonna pop an Aurora Bell now. A simple, simple, lovely Aurora Bell. So I'm gonna pop Aurora Bell, and I could just protect here. But you know what? I'm just gonna freeze dry and look to just dump on this mile thick. Don't feel like dealing with it. So Helping Hand comes out here. And actually, you outspeed me now. I kind of forgot about that. Especially after Icy Wind. Actually, you don't. Cool, so I'm able to get off this Aurora Veil. Aurora Veil out and about. Lovely. Aurora Veil's here. Heat Wave's gonna fly. My Pokemon are dead with the Helping Hand. Wow. Even through Aurora Veil. I thought one of them was gonna soak. And that kind of sucks. I thought one was, was going to soak. But still, I think that's a hot start for us. I don't mind where we're sitting. We got the weather control. We have great Pokemon in the back end to kind of counter this. And on top of that, Kiram took out Coridon. That's huge. That's huge. So now I can go into Incineroar. I can go into Ogre Pond. We are going to trigger competitive. Slight issue. Slight issue. Just, just a tad bit of an issue. And I think from here, we fake out the Milo. And then we just bop the Charizard, right? We should hit this Charizard with Ivy Cudgel. Might be my best bet. Definitely want to fake out you. Definitely want to fake out you. And yeah, we're just going to go Ivy Cudgel in this slot. That's the play. So we got a Roar Bell up. Kieran ripped into Crydon. That Milotic Icy Wind definitely did us dirty. But that Heat Wave did a ridiculous amount of damage, especially through a Roar Bell. I know it's super effective and Charizard hits hard. But he's going to end up hard swapping here. So we'll see a hard swap pop out here, and we're going to see their final Pokemon, which is going to be a Moongus. So Moongus comes out here. But honestly, I like our Pokemon. He's going to get a Protosynthesis boost, and he's going to boost attack. The Fake Out's going to go into the Milo. We're going to make it flinch this turn. Burn's going to chip it up. Ivy Cudge is going to do a little bit of damage. Not bad. Not bad. So Milotic's going to flinch. And now from here, I think this is just a simple Horn Leech into the... Uh, Actually, this thing's not competitive. I totally forgot. This thing is uh, Marvel Scale. But I think just going Flare Blitz into a Horn Leech, probably your best bet, right? Probably your best bet. Look to pick up a KO or two. They do still have Terra, which we don't have. And I don't know if they're going to send it. I just don't know. I don't know what they're going to do here. If they were going to send it, I would think they would have sent it on the Charizard. But now I'm thinking they might send it on the Amoongus. The lovely little Amoongus. Well, not Amoongus. Brute Bonnet. Brute Bonnet. I love Brute Bonnet. I love its little tail. It has this like stubby tail that's just behind it. It's so funny. But they don't end up him. Our Horn Leech picks up the KO. We got a crit. It didn't even matter. The thing was dead regardless. And what about it's going to outspeed? Can we pick up a KO? Can we pick up a big time KO? It's a massive KO. Love you, Incineroar. And like I said, I love her back in Pokemon for the situation. We led the Kiram, we led the uh, Nine Tails, picked a big time KO onto Crydon, and then we got she got these back end Pokemon out here, getting work done. And now they go back into the Charizard as their final Pokemon. Um, I don't think you can one shot my, I don't think you can one shot my Ogre Pond here. I don't think you can, especially with a War Belt. We should be fine. So again, they still have Terra. I think they pop it here, if anything. And I feel like Charizard in this game just like looks meaner. Does he look mean? Like, look at his face. He looks 10 times meaner in this game than any other game. But he's so cool. Charizard is just one of the coolest Pokemon. It's so crazy how they did. They hit, like, the uh, a perfect design on their first try in Generation 1. Like, Charizard is the definition of a perfect design Pokemon. There's only a few. There's only a few, but Charizard, he's up there. I think Generation 1 has a few of them. But every generation, I feel like, has a perfectly designed Pokemon. Like Titar, perfectly designed Pokemon. Come on, man. You can't go wrong with Titar. There's a few. There's a few. And I'm not talking about like being good and competitive. I'm talking about like its design is perfect for Pokemon. It's just perfect. But they end up going into the Dragon Terror type here. We're looking to finish this game off here. Charizard, like I said, probably can't one-shot us with a Warbell out on the field. He's going to go for a Hurricane, which misses. 
It was a risky play, but that was probably probably the right call. I think you had to go for a hurricane there. Ivy Cudge are going to do half damage. It hits so hard, and he got a crit. Lovely. Crits are flying in this match. Knockoff flies through here and finishes off the Charizard. So GG to our opponent. Solid first match. We get out here. I want to try to use a little bit more in match number two. Looking to go back to back here in match number two, and we're going up against a Necrozma team. Now, Necrozma, pretty strong Pokemon, but I haven't played up against it too, too much, so not gonna lie, don't really know too much of what it does. Let's be honest, yeah, I, I, I just don't. I don't. But they also have Venusaur with no way of setting sun. They might have a way of setting sun. Actually, I don't think so. I don't think any of your Pokemon learn sunny day, but it looks like no weather control, correct? So this screams like go into Kiram and Ninetales, right? This screams out. I actually don't even know Necrozma was typing. And that kind of annoys me. But I'm going to go into our Sunsetters here. I like them a lot. They probably have Intimidate with... With what's it called? Arcanine. But to be honest, I'm going to go into this... Wait a minute. Look at this thing's stats. 242 special attack? Oh my lord. No wonder why this thing hits so hard. Wait till I use Helping Hand with Blizzard. Okay, yeah. That's insane. Might be one of the highest special attacks I've seen. In this game but i'm gonna go ogre pond here i just like having ogre pond i think we're gonna go incineroar where do we go gold to go incineroar is just so good it really is especially with intimidate knock off all that good stuff i do like it i like the same squad i really do i just think it's so good it's just so good i like it all right so we're leading kiram again alongside with nine tails looking to kind of do just like the same thing try to set up a roar bell maybe go for helping hand terra into the uh Ice again, do some big time damage with the Blizzard. But I might go Helping Hand Terror Blizzard right off the rip because that damage is going to be absurd. So let's see who they end up leading. It's going to be Necrozma and Indeedee. So I could see a Follow Me pop out here. Do I pop a War Veil? Necrozma looks so good. It looks awesome. It looks so good. I want to actually see its typing real quick. It's going to set the Psychic Surge. No first turn priority is allowed. And what is your typing, Necrozma? What do you got cooking? Psychic and Ghost. Okay, so you're the same thing as Lunala, correct? Or is Lunala dark? I think this is that's Lunala's typing. I do like the ghost typing on that, but to be honest, I think we just Terror Blizzard helping hand. That's exactly what I'm doing. You can go for following me. I don't care. I'm going for big time damage here. Kiram's 242 special attack. That is insane. That is insane. We're going to boost Blizzard, which is already a high base power move, with the Terra and the Helping Hand and the Life Orb and the Stab. This thing's not playing around, yo. Kiram's going to be super, super powerful in Magnificent G. So here we go. Helping Hand comes out here. Blizzard is flying. I feel like this dude's going to turn off his console. Oh my lord. <laughs> Yo, Kiram, Kiram's gonna be nice. With the snow buff, Kiram gonna be nice. This thing is a problem. This thing is a problem. It's also really fast, too. I wouldn't say really fast, but it's faster than the average Pokemon. So Pre-Marina comes out here. I'm cool with that. I don't mind Pre-Marina coming out here. And who else is here? It's gonna be Arcanine. I mean, you can intimidate me. I mean, Blizzard's still gonna rip. Blizzard's still gonna rip, so do we go into Aurora Veil? Vale? Or do we just, to be honest, just go for another Blizzard and Helping Hand? I think we just go into Blizzard Helping Hand. That's what I wanna do. That's what I wanna do. I'll do that rather than Aurora Veil, vale, because chances are they're gonna attack Kiram. They're gonna attack Kiram, no doubt in my mind. And Nightail should probably stay on the field, so if Kiram dies, we can just pop a Aurora Veil next turn, because it's gonna outspeed. But let's see how much damage this does up against not very effective people. Uh, dude, that is insane. That is absurd. The damage is insane. Rock side is going to come out here. And I think Kiram dodged that. So Kiram with the big time dodge. And Hyper Voice flies here. That's fine because Kiram outspeeds and another Blizzard should finish off this match. Oh my lord. Absurd amount of damage. A bit too much damage. So he's going to go for a Liquid Voice pop in here. And we're just going to go into Incineroar. We're just going to fake out the Prima Arena. We're going to drop another Blizzard. And we're going to say Night Night. Thanks for playing. Thanks for playing. Seriously, thanks for playing. Kieran making this game way too easy. Just Blizzard spamming. So fake out in the Prima Arena. Drop another Blizzard. And they finally just cancel battle. So Kieran absolutely dominates match number two. Let's go hop into our third and final. 
final match coming at you guys, and we're going up against a double weather squad. They got nine tails, they got pelper. They can go snow, they can go rain, whatever they choose. And honestly, I don't mind a snow war right here, right? I don't mind a little snowball fight action here. I'm going to go into my snow squad right off the rip. I just love it so much. But honestly, I do like Incineroar here, and I kind of like Gold to go. Actually, I really like Gold to go. I'm going to go Gold to go here. Gold to go actually rips up into a few. And do I go Incineroar or Ogre Pond? That's the real question. Incineroar or Ogre Pond? I mean, Ogre Pond could do some damage. Ogre Pond can do some damage, let's be honest here. But it could also get dumped on. What do I want here? Or do I want Incineroar? I mean, they got a lot of special attackers. I think their whole team's special attacking. Yeah, let's go Ogre Pond here. Let's get Ogre in with it. I'm all about it. So, I believe Ninetales is going to be fastest in this matchup. So, if they go Ninetales and we go Ninetales, I think we just set a War Veil and we, we, we just go from there, right? Maybe still Terrastalize our boy. Because even not very effective shots, they're hitting like a truck. Blizzard is just... It's just broken with this Pokemon at this point, especially with Terra Boost. I feel like Terra Boost just makes everything so much stronger than it is. But Ninetales and Milo come out here for turn one. Um, I do have Freeze Try. <clears throat> I do have Freeze Try, and I'm thinking of just popping a War Belt and dumping on Milo. I think that's our best bet. I, th I think we should do that. I think we should do that. And honestly, what does Turbo Blaze do again? I always forget. I always forget. The Pokemon's moves are unimpeded by the ability of the target. So it's basically Mold Breaker, right? It's basically Mold Breaker. We love it. Um, and yeah, let's be honest. Let's just Terra go into Freeze right here. Take out you. And let's pop a War Bell. If you said Rain, that's going to be odd. I, I just believe we both set a War Bell here. I believe we go War Bell. War Bell. Freeze Dry should still KO through this War Bell, right? With the Terra Boost, with how high its special attack is. Stab, super effective. <clears throat> Life Orb. You name it. This thing's getting all the boost. Look at the Terrasa Ice here. Look for some big time damage out here. War Bell does pop. It does pop. And again, I think they're gonna judge going for a war bell, correct? Yeah, a war bell, war bell. Makes sense. It makes the most sense. It makes the most sense. Freeze dry now flies. Hopefully this just kills it, right? I know Milo takes a little bit bulkier, but Kiram hits hard. Close. Real close. That's real close. Bringing it down to 1 HP. Pretty much. Dragon Pulse gonna fly here. We should soak rather well. You know, all day. So now I'm just gonna bullshit spam. Now I'm just gonna Blizzard spam, because Blizzard's gonna KO Milo all day. I think super low. It could honestly end up protecting. But yeah, I'm gonna go Blizzard and do I just Moon Blast this slot or do I helping hand? I think we just Moon Blast. I think we double down into this Nine Tail slot. I think the Moon Blast does more damage than the Helping Hand would, considering it's not very effective. <clears throat> cool. So Snow Work out here at Match Number 3. We love a good Snow Work. So Moon Blast, getting after it. Doing decent damage, not the crazy. We do get a special attack drop. That's that's massive. That's massive. That's what we're gonna come out here. My Pokemon soak, no problem. Boys are gonna fly. We're gonna say bye bye to Milo. Milo, get on out of here. Get it on out of here. And Nine Tails going rather low, where another Blizzard and Moonblast can KO. <clears throat> I'm hoping a Helping Hand Blizzard can just KO that. I'm really hoping. I'm really hoping that. But I think maybe Archaludon could come out here, or even Sylveon. I mean, we do have Golden Go in the back end, which is great, so I'm kind of hoping it's still around. It's going to be Archaludon. Just like I thought. So Archaludon flies out here. This is 100% a nice little Blizzard play for us. We actually do have... Do we think this thing's going to Terra? Because i honestly rather go into Blizzard and Helping Hand here, but I could go Helping Hand and... Earth Power. And you know what? I'm going to go Helping Hand and Earth Power. I think I'd rather get rid of Archaludon. This thing is just... Too big of a threat. He ends up with all nine tails. So nine tails gets a swap here. The swippy swap of nine tails goes into Pelipper, which is actually great that we didn't go into that we didn't go into Blizzard here. That could have been a problem. So they're not throwing slides. So we're going into Earth Power and through a Warbell. Does this KO? I don't even know. Probably not because Freeze Dry didn't KO, and it does. It does. It just ripped up into him. Beautiful. Yo, Kiram is ripping. That's crazy how Freeze Dry didn't kill the Milo. But Earth Power is killing this thing. But that's pretty much game. They got two Pokemon who are pretty average, pretty mediocre. Just really good at setting weather. And we got Kiram still on the field. And he has and he's forced to set the snow again, which works perfectly with our Blizzard helping hand helping ham. Helping hand spam. That's tough to say. I said helping ham. I do like ham. Ham's pretty tasty. 
Let's be honest here, though. Ham rocks. Put a little cheese in the middle, roll it up. Woo! Woo! Might have to get one after this, after celebrating my 3 0 perfect record. A little ham cheese roll up. But he's gonna protect the paloops. I respect it. Love me some paloops. And he's gonna disable my helping hand. How dare you? That's not cool. That ain't right. Not cool at all. So now I can't help a hand next turn. But Butch is gonna fly here. We're gonna say bye bye to Nine Tails. Nine Tails, thanks for playing. Thanks for playing Pokemon. Get it on out my face. Done dealing with it. Kiram, she said. Massive threat. See, I knew this thing was good. I, I versed it up on the casual ladder off recording a couple times, and this thing, like, just did what I was doing it, uh, to our opponents. Just ripping into me. I was just like, yo, what? The Blizzard's going crazy. It's going crazy. But from here, you know what? We're just going to go into freeze try. Four times super effective, and we'll double down just in case it's Sash. But I believe they cancel. They do not. They do not. They just want to get whipped up on. The special attack drops, freeze dry. Pelper, love you so much. You're one of my favorites. You're my dog. You're my dog, but I gotta say bye bye to you. Pelpert going 3 0 perfect record on the Jeans channel yet again. See that rental code in the top right hand corner? Grab it now. Save it. Save this team. Use it on the casual ladder. Save it for rank. I don't care. Just grab this team. This team is insanely strong. Pairing up Kiram with Ninetales. We did it in every single match and we just dominated in today's video. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.